Hey guys, it's Jackie. Um, we're back for another In My Mailbox this lovely Sunday morning. Um, I thought I would share with you all the books I got this week. I only got a couple, um, but I also picked up um, some great movie deals, so I'm going to share those with you as well. Uh, to start, we have Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. I got it as my first rack gift from Rachelia at Bookish Comforts, um, so thank you so much. I'm really excited to start it. It's the second book in the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver, and it's just lovely. Like, I love the cover. It's so great. Um, it follows Lena after everything that happened in Delirium at the end, but the one thing that I really love about it is that um, at the beginning I kind of flip through the chapters and each chapter kind of starts as like a now and then, uh, which I think is really unique and cool. And I just absolutely love this series. When I started it about a month ago, I have been just dying to pick up Pandemonium. So thank you so much for the lovely rack. I'm so excited. I also have Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, once again, another gorgeous cover. I just love the lettering and how it's all lifted and the dress and everything. I got it on sale actually from Chapters for $5.99. I thought it was like the greatest deal of a lifetime. Um, this one follows Claire Gardner um, when she finds out that she is half angel. Yeah, she's part angel. Um, so she's been having these... Um, uh, basically these visions or nightmares where she basically sees um, a huge fire and a guy and all this other stuff that leads her to another school. And there she meets Christian, basically the guy from her dreams, and she also meets Tucker. So there's going to be some drama there, and she also has to learn her new role in society, seeing as she's kind of no longer human. So a whole bunch of drama with guys and her trying to fit in, so I think it's going to be really good. Um, this is the first book in the series. I also believe there is Hallowed by Cynthia, Cynthia Hand, and that is the second book. So I've only ever heard great things about it, so you guys should really check it out. And if not, just for the cover, because it's gorgeous. And I also got Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side by Beth Fenescli. Fenescli, sorry. Um, I also got this one on sale at Chapters. You can see the sticker on it still. Um, also, greatest like deal of a lifetime. I love when they have books on sale. Um, this one follows Jessica who finds out that she is a Romanian vampire princess and she finds this out by this new transfer student. His name is Lucius and he basically tells her that he is her fiance. That's kind of like a big deal when you're in high school so she has to kind of figure out how to deal with all of that and um, try and deal with the fact that a cheerleader is trying to steal him away from her. So lots of high school drama and lots of supernatural drama, so it should be good. I'm excited. Um, this is probably like the first vampire novel I've picked up in a really long time, so I'm kind of worried um, with all like the Twilight hype that has been going on. So I'm really excited. If you guys have read this, leave a comment below and tell me how it is. I also got... Wilding's book one, Under My Skin, by Charles DeLint. He is um, going to be um, hosting a live author chat on Razorbill.ca on March 27th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So I got a copy for review and to kind of prep for the interview, I guess. Um, this is my first time reading Charles DeLint, but I've heard so many good things about his um, writing, and he's supposed to be a fantastic fantasy writer. So I'm really super excited about it. This one specifically is about... Josh, uh, Josh Saunders, sorry, um, who basically is becoming a wilding, which in this case means that a whole bunch of teens are turning into wild animals, and he suffers from this one night when he um, just changes into a mountain lion and attacks his stepdad. So it follows his story and what he has to go through and how this is all happening and everything like that. So it's supposed to be really good. I'm really super excited about it because I love these types of fantasy novels. They're kind of my, like, closet book I read all the time <laughs> but I'm super excited and the cover is really awesome it's like this shiny like reflective covering and the lettering is all awesome so make sure you check it out it's um, coming out or is already out it's already out I believe um, so you can find it in um, all sorts of bookstores that is all I got in books um, it was a slow book week but that's okay because last week's was ginormous so I'm happy with that I also got two movies on sale, $8.99 each. I got, let's see, 
Harry Potter Part 1 and Harry Potter Part 2 for the Deathly Hallows. I'm super excited. These are like my favorite movies ever. I've already watched them once. I'll probably watch them again today. I'm not gonna lie. And they both make me cry, so <laughs> they're great books. Um, that was it. Uh, make sure you check out the giveaway I'm hosting on my blog for uh, my follower appreciation. We finally reached 150, so I'm so happy. And also, if you're interested, on Monday on CBC at 9 o'clock uh, p.m. and 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, I will be um, interviewed by Eli, his name is, uh, the entertainment producer, I think, for CBC. Um, about the Hunger Games and young adult trends. So make sure you check it out. It's me and a whole bunch of other um, publishers as well. So let me know what you think. I hope you guys had a fantastic Sunday in books and a happy reading this week. And make sure you enjoy the weather.